Boston has a day for the Maharaja World Order. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. I will download it back and back again, back again. Thank you for being a friend. Thank you for being a friend. I will download it. Hey everybody, Goldie here with episode three of the character spotlight series on Fandango. This is just a quick little fun video showing a level one godfather hitting close to a 200k pin. This is not my video. It was lent to me by a faction member with permission to break it down on my channel. Trainers for Fandango will be Akam, Harlem Heat, Booker T, Coaches are Bailey and Hall of Fame Booker T for more yellow gem damage. Trainers and coaches for Godfather, 13K Vince McMahon, a 5K Honky Tonk Man, and Masters of the Universe Cena, plus a 20% armor belt to assist with kickout damage reduction. If you haven't already watched episode one with Fandango's basic setup for tag matches, please do so. If you don't have Honky Tonk Man, you could always use Matt Hardy on Godfather to increase the Multiply Gem's strength. The blue move is there just in case Fandango cascades and hits a blue gem match. You can lay a couple more loot gems on the board without moving the pin meter. Also, there's no need to lay down Fandango's Protect Gems since Godfather is going to turn the entire board into loot gems and destroy them anyways. Godfather could also become a solo farmer. If you have Vince at 15k because he adds plus two starting purple MP, so him with Xavier Woods on a four star Godfather with the plus one MP tour perk and Rikishi means the purple move is ready to go turn one. That makes yellow gems, which charges both of his yellow moves. And with an armor belt, you could drop Close to a 200k pin, a yellow move damage metal flat would make that finisher even stronger. And you'll guarantee yourself max loot on turn one. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, share with your friends, and subscribe so you get notified when episode four hits.